Hey guys, Bob from Game Bat. Today, bringing another video for our favorite weapon series for some of our Warzone weapon builds. And today, we're going to be covering a very unique weapon the Rytek AMR, converting it into the Barrett XM 109, which is an anti material rifle firing the 25 Mike Mike explosive rounds. So, I'll show you how to build this, and as well, then we'll jump into just some gameplay of me using this in Warzone. Definitely, you don't want to be using this as like a primary sniper rifle build but very good for vehicles. Uh, Anti-vehicle really is what I have this built for. However, it is good against infantry if you can master the bullet drop on this as well as how to lead your target. It's gonna break armor in one hit and depending on the range, it will instantly down an opponent. So very effective round, uh, round on this weapon with a 25 mic mic, explosive rounds. But the way we have this built, again, you really need to compensate for recoil at range, but very, very deadly, which you'll see in some of the gameplay. But let me go ahead and back out We'll take a look at the weapon build I have here. This is the one that you'll essentially see in the gameplay here. If I go ahead and preview it, this is our XM109. And we have this built best we can for recoil control as well as ADS speeds. This is a very slow aim down sight weapon. So we'll head and back out. I will strip this down to base. So here we have our base Rytek AMR. What we're going to want for this, we have muzzle options here like the tank brake, which is going to assist with the horizontal recoil stabilization as well as the AMR suppressor, which will help at sound suppression and damage at range. However, every t every attachment I tried at this is just too much recoil or still just very, very slow ADS speed. So what we're going to want here for the barrel is we're going to skip out on the muzzle. We're going to go ahead and go straight for the Harbinger barrel. This is going to assist with the pros being the recoil control. And you can see it's a little bit longer than the 488 millimeter or 448 millimeter dictator barrel, which would give us better ADS speed, but we really want, and that would be negative recoil control is um, the seven straight would help us with recoil control, but the ADS speed is just extremely, extremely slow and unusable. So we're gonna want the XRK Harbinger barrel. It's gonna help us a lot with that recoil control. In my opinion, you can see the control at the bottom gonna help us the most out of any of these barrels by far. The cons are the bullet velocity, aim down sight speed, and the movement speed but again this is going to be your best option for recoil control in my opinion so we'll go ahead and select the harbinger barrel now we're going to want a laser on this again because we have such slow ads speed on this weapon it is a heavy weapon we're carrying 25 millimeter explosive rounds we're going to want attack laser again that's going to assist with our ads speed aim and stability and our aim walking steadiness the cons here being that the laser is going to be visible only when you're adsing but again typically you're engaging vehicles primarily with this at a medium to longer ranges so it's not going to really matter at that point. Even if you're engaging infantry, you're still typically going to be at ranges where the laser won't make any difference whatsoever as far as visibility for the enemies. But it is going to help you aim down sight and move with this weapon much better. So we'll go ahead and select that. We're actually going to go with the base optic for this. The other option here would be a variable zoom or maybe something like a thermal dual powered optic. But again, this is not really built for infantry, nor is it built for longer range engagements. So the base sniper optic on this, in my opinion, is the best build if you're going for using it the way it is, like an anti-material rifle to go mainly against vehicles. But again, it can be effective against infantry. So we're gonna leave the base sniper rifle optic on this. We're gonna go with the base stock. Although you do have some options here, like the tack wrap to increase our ADS speed, which is a really nice option as well. But we already made up for that with laser on this. So we're gonna skip that, skip the perk. For the rear grip, again, we're gonna got the rubberized grip tape to assist even more with that recoil control. It's very key to get as much recoil control with this as we can so we can get take advantage of the semi-automatic fire rate of this and get multiple shots on target when we're engaging vehicles or even infantry. So the only con here, aim and stability. Again, not a big deal with this since we're primarily engaging vehicles and they're larger targets. Go ahead and select that. Now for the ammunition, we're gonna, again, like I said, we're gonna want that 25 by 59 millimeter explosive rounds. So again, there's a 25 millimeter explosive round, which is just huge. And again, this is mainly intended for anti-vehicle or materials. Uh, so we wanna use this primarily against vehicles. It's gonna bypass trophy systems, you can see there. Low yield payload is capable of dismemberment, but very, it's not very fast with slow uh, muzzle velocity, but it's fast enough to evade trophy systems. So vehicles that are using trophy systems, those annoying guys and solos and duos and whatever, that are driving around with trophy systems, this is just the perfect uh, weapon to destroy them and not have to worry about that. So again, the pros, explosive impact, as well as damage increase. The cons here being the bullet velocity, recoil control, 
and the fire rate since we're firing a much larger and heavier round. So again, we'll go ahead and select the 25 by 59 millimeter explosive rounds. And then again, to take advantage of more recoil control, we're gonna want a bipod on this. This is gonna assist with the crouch and prone recoil control, which is the best way to use this. It's gonna help, uh, again, just keep get multiple shots on target, especially if you're engaging vehicles, you wanna go crouch or even prone would be best and get multiple shots on target, which you'll see in some of the gameplay. So let's select that. And then for the reticle, we can't do any uh, custom reticle because we're running the base optic on this. The camouflage, again, I'm just running the Splinter Angels camo. Another really good one would be a woodland, modern woodland I like on this as well. I don't really like the base. I think it just looks, it's too, uh, it looks just too much like the original Barrett AM82, obviously. So something like a, a nice looking uh, camouflage like this really helps out with the weapons uh, cosmetics in my opinion. But that is our final build for the XM109. Again, this is an anti-material rifle with a 25 millimeter explosive rounds on this. And that's specifically what this build is for, is to engage vehicles. However, you will see some infantry gameplay here in this video. But again, like I said, very powerful against vehicles. You'll see in some of the gameplay, um, I'm able to take out enemy helicopters. Obviously, some of these may have already been shot at, but I'm able to take out an enemy helicopter at pretty close range, in my opinion. I was almost right underneath him, just with one shot. And I was also able to take out a car, a couple cars with just two shots. So it's very, very powerful. Typically two to three shots directly landed onto a vehicle is going to blow it up depending on the range. Again, there's a couple engagements here in, at vehicles where I'm pretty close range. Um, one within probably 20 meters and it just took two shots, one or two shots and he was done too. And I believe he even had a trophy system. So just goes to more proof that people with trophy systems running around with that vehicle meta aren't safe if you're using this weapon. The only thing to keep in mind here is that because we have the Harbinger Barrel on this, you are gonna show up on the minimap when you fire and it's very, very loud. So not only are you gonna give away your position on the minimap, but I mean, if you're firing close to somebody or even far away where you're not gonna show up on the minimap, somebody's gonna know what direction you're coming from. It's very, very loud, especially when your rounds hit, it's gonna make another explosive sound. So you're just really making a lot of noise with this weapon. But again, if you're gonna use it specifically for vehicle meta, and if you really need to engage infantry, which I do in some cases, it can be very effective. The thing to keep in mind here when you're engaging infantry, you'll see here in some of the infantry gameplay where I engage people, like like the rounds say with this weapon, the muzzle velocity is very slow on the bullets, so you really need to lead your target. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty decent if you're engaging infantry and vehicles, you really need to lead your target. Use your mill markers on your optic to lead your target, as well as account for bullet drop, because a bullet is gonna drop heavily Anywhere probably past 50 meters, I think you're gonna drop off pretty heavily. So you'll see in some of the infantry engagements where I'm using this, um, I really need to be aiming up a little bit further. But again, it's such an effective round that if you're able to land just one shot, depending on the range, you're definitely gonna break armor and you're gonna instantly down people with this weapon. So if you can really master the bullet drop and how to lead your targets with this, which I'm still not the best at, but I'm getting the hang of it. Um, and just with my limited experience engaging infantry with this particular build, I'm able to effectively down people with this weapon and kill them with one plus shot. So very, very effective. The only reason I ran this to begin with is just because the base Rytec or the M82 with the 50 caliber rounds is still not a one hit headshot for a sniper rifle. So in my mind, there's really no reason to use that particular version of it until they fix that. But here with these 25 millimeter explosive rounds on this, we have a really effective anti-vehicle weapon here. And again, if you really need to use it, it can be effective against infantry. And you'll also see some examples here, just me crouching in prone with this weapon, firing in crouch and prone, and just how mitigated the recoil is with this. There's almost no recoil. I get a nice win here um, at the very end of a game, 1v1, and I'm able to just hit this with almost no recoil and get two follow-up shots after I down him to finish him off and win the game. So definitely a very, very effective weapon build here. And you can also put the longer barrel on this. If you're not too concerned with the ADS speed, you can put the longer barrel on this along with the suppressor and still engage vehicles even further out and not have to worry about the significant bullet drop. But again, the, unless you're mounting it, the recoil is gonna be very, very hard to keep at least more than one shot on target. It's gonna take quite a while to recenter your reticle and again then adjust for the bullet drop with this larger 25 millimeter round so in my mind that particular build just isn't really useful and i particularly like this because we have max recoil control pretty good ads speed and again we're using it exactly how it's intended primarily is against vehicles so 
Let me know down below what you guys think of this build. Again, this is the Rythic AMR utilizing the 25 by 59 millimeter explosive rounds here in Warzone. Let me know down below what you guys think of this, what your favorite build for the Rytec AMR is. Also, be sure to comment down below um, what weapons you want to see me use going forward. Going to be starting doing subscriber recommended builds, as well as be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you're enjoying the content. We also have social media links down below, as well as a Discord, so be sure to jump into those and join in on those. And you, can, you guys can message me at any of those as well, and I'll, I'll see your message and usually get back to you almost instantly. So, leave you guys with that. This is the XM109. Until next time, Buffering Gaming. Out.